Good evening, folks. Uh, Paulie McHugh here, Owen Rua, senior player. Uh, probably known in the category of one of the aging senior players um, currently. Um, you may be aware the club have sort of uh, recently launched a YouTube, YouTube channel. And um, we're going to just run a quick uh, meet the member segment here with our current chairman, Tony Straw Donnelly. Um, also joining me here this evening is Kjahal Magerlein. Um, Kjahal's been the youth officer of the club for 20 years and uh, he still thinks of himself as a youthful hurler as well. So I'll leave that to the gate. Young at heart. Uh, <laughs> also, um, just to welcome you both here this evening, lads, and thanks, thanks for coming on. Um, Tony, just uh, first, first up then, just what was your introduction to the GAA? I know you um, hailed, hailed from uh, from Galway originally. What what was your early days, or what's you know what was your first introduction? I suppose. Well, I was kind of I was kind of in between parishes, and uh, now the introduction my hurling or my well hurling was non-existent. Like it was, it would have been football underage, but like I'm very underage. Like I don't even know if I'll be up to under sixteen. But I had been. We were like we lived in Altmore. Uh, which was kind of in from Ray Park. Uh, I remember Sean Begley and Mickey Harvey used to come out. We used to pick us up at the house and take us to, to training for Bermuda. And then, you know, and then I hung about then with lads like, you know, from Galway, like Eugene Kelly, Martin Kelly, and that. And, and, and uh, we would have, you know, would have obviously, they, they were a bit older than me, like, but, but uh, they ended up, you know, down around Galway and that, like, but now there wasn't. The only time I'd say my interest in football was to get out of going to the bog. More often than not, you know, it was, it, it was, uh, uh, it was hey, I could kind of develop other hobbies and, and, uh, and I didn't really get that involved, you know. Uh, I think I would have been, I was a good enough footballer, but I wasn't like that. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't shoot the lights out, you know, like, so my, you know, my early years in, in the GAA were pretty glorious, you know. And indeed, even the, late, the later years, you know, like when I went to London, and, uh, went to London and working with a few, working with, you know, lads in the Irish community out of sight there. And, uh, I think I went, a guy that played for Geraldine's asked me to come out and play with them. And I think I went out and trained with them for, for, for a few nights. And I think I maybe played one game. And <laughs> kind of drifted away again. And... As I say, like other things just took more interest from me at that time. And then um then I, I actually did get more involved then. I got there was a new club started up. It was kind of a breakaway from the Thomas McCartan's. It was the Arrow, uh, Young Irelanders, and we kind of played in like a down in the down colours. And I would have played like so it was one of the one of the, I played with them. I think we got back or up or we got back. We came back um, to play in Leitrim. A lot of the guys were from Leitrim, so we came back to play, you know, in Leitrim and play a few teams there, like some uh, some Shambo and and uh, and one one game I remember I actually had to be woke up on the bus to, to play a game of football. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's a slight indication of what my hobbies were, you know. At that time, so that was, uh, that was the first part. <laughs> that was me in the GAA. Very good. So, Very good. And, uh, you, know, you, you didn't really have, you know, I suppose hail from Altmore, you didn't really have an introduction to, to hurling in, you know, in your early years. How, how then did you come to be involved with Owen Rua? How, how did that involve? You know, what, what did that involve that, those early days? I, uh, well, I think. Like, uh, I remember we frankly, we frankly alone at at the uh, Dungan at the weekend would have would have done a bit of you know would have coached a bit of hurling. He was a dairy man, and again I, I kind of liked it, you know, but I, I'm sorry, I wasn't really much good at it. So lads, like Stevie Morgan was in my class, uh, Stevie got rest, and he was in my class. Stevie was very good. I remember, you know, this kid could you know he could drive the ball over the bar from from one end of the field to the other, you know, and. Uh, but well, that you know, again, never ordered. And then, and then I started working in, in, in I got a, I got, I was working as a doorman in the fort, and I worked along with Thomas, 
think, in the fort. And I think uh, because I didn't drink, I was invited one. I, was, I got the offer of driving, driving the team down to the Sevens. And uh, we went to the Sevens. And I remember I had to go around and had to wake everyone up and gather up a mishmash of a crew to go to the Sevens. I don't know whether they're much interested in at that time. But, but we went down to the Sevens and, you know, gave straight out of the bus <laughs> and, and out onto the field. And oh my God, they won the Sevens that year. <laughs> I'm not sure what year that was, Cavalry. I, I, I think I, I think I think it was 2003. Uh, <laughs> and um, and uh, we won it, and I mean, a couple of the lads wanted me to go up and, and get a, and collect one of the throw, one of the trophies. I don't know whether they're taking the piss or not, but uh, <laughs> I, but I, I just my, my I just thought I, I, like I bonded with them very very like. I just thought these were a great crew of lads, great bunch of people. Uh, I had a great weekend crack. And you know, and that would have been and then you know, uh, you know, doing you know, doing runs with young boys to match it and stuff like that and, and a few years for the sevens. And then Kevin asked me, would I would I have Mickey out for the underage for the on the tens? And I, I'm not sure was there under eights at that time, Kevin. No, I think it was only under tens then. It was only on the Thames, and I mean, I, I didn't even know Mickey, and I went and, uh, and met Mickey, and the rest is history, like I met Mickey, and to this day, me and Mickey, we get on a great time, a great time for Mickey, and, uh, you know, on the crack, the crack that we had, like, into, you know, coaching, we really enjoyed it, and, you know, when even young lads, like, you know, uh, lads, lads kind of like adults that kind of act, like you know, act a bit childish, and I'm that's that's me. Uh, you know, I'd be you know, I'd be doing goals, you know, in the weekend game for that and like, uh, throwing myself to the way that like I was, you know, throwing myself on the ground, trying to save a ball, like you know, from a, an eight year old child, you know, and, and then roaring when I was when I was saving, you know. And I think the kids, the kids kind of liked that, you know, and, and I certainly enjoyed it, you know, and uh, so that was kind of that was me, that was me then, kind of. Boots and, 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 and the, the, kind of say the, the, the rest is history, I suppose. As well, you know, I had a new lot of the hurlers like yourself, or uh, Gavel, you know, would come into the fort, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, most of you, most of you were, were, were barred. You <laughs> <laughs> All he was barred, anyway. <laughs> you worked there. <laughs> you, you, uh-huh. you, didn't more, you didn't have more time on the knees begging me to get back in again. <laughs> 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 oh God! But, uh, no, again, like you know, just like a real good bunch, a good, good bunch of fellas. And at that, at that time, I was a, a very, very, very tight knit, very tight knit bunch of lads too. You know, there's a good, good, strong bond between them. I could see that, you know, and I like that. And plus, as well, how welcome they were of me, like an, an outsider, a blowing, you know, into the fold. Which I like that too, you know. And yeah. plus as well, plus as well, I love, I, I just love the hurling, you know what it's a, like it's a new introduction, I, that, that, that sevens, that sevens that, that I, I couldn't believe how good some of these guys were, you know. I think that was the last year, Eamon, Eamon was, 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 I think Eamon played that day or something, right, he? he did, yeah, yeah, he was up front. And you so. Peter, I think Peter went through about four times for Al Jacks, <laughs> you know, but I, I just thought like, you know, great <laughs> Good bunch of fellas, you know, and, uh, and, and 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 good hurlers, you know. I always, you know, I had a from Galway, and all of a sudden, like after Gal made of a hurling team, but they're probably not much good, you know. But I, I got my eyes open there, you know. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, just moving on, then, Tony. Just uh, you know the, the club obviously has developed a lot there over the last, I suppose, ten, even fifteen years. Um, Big step for the club was getting the the grounds down the playing fields. Um, probably phase one of that development would have been the ball wall. Um, I know now you're, yourself you were heavily involved um, with the construction of the ball wall. Um, and uh, what just 
Could you talk us through that? And I know you emigrated to Canada shortly after. Um, I believe you had an emotional night at the, the pig racing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your memories of that? There? Uh, well, I suppose I think I think once you secured the the lease of the fields, you know the the was now the hurling fields. Uh, <clears throat> then you know then there was you know there were you know the development could start. You know before that. You know, there's a there's a pitch there, and if you you mind it, like it was a mucky, even on even on a on a warm day, on a warm dry day, it was it was, it was wet, you know, and uh, there was no the facilities were 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 nil, and, and how I did it, how the club kept going for so many years, uh, with that, you know, with the with the facilities that they had, it, it's amazing. It's kind of you know, with the, with the facilities that there now, it, it, it's kind of easy. But at that time, it, was, it must have been very, very difficult for them man, down through through the years. And so the first thing they got, they got the, the permission then to to do the and raise the money to, to build the ball wall. And, and I was asked those those prices come in, you know, come in for it. A lot of them were were very high, and I was asked, could I do it for 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 a certain amount? And, and I said, I'm, I'm sure I could. And myself and another couple of lads, Eamon, Kieran, and uh, Jerry. Um, Jerry McCrudden, Jerry was down helping, and uh, you know, a lot of boys, you know, were, were there. And we, 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 I went to Jordan and got the pond, and and, uh, and uh, Paul and he done the drawing for, for it. So, and so we got her done, and we got her done very quick. I think I did it took fourteen days, fourteen days from from more or less from start to finish the wall, you know. Um, yeah. And that was, uh, and I suppose that was the big thing, you know. That, you know, then you know, there was someone that caught the eye. As soon as you come into the town, there was this big, there was this big, uh, a big wall up. You know, it was like a big monument up to to Horn and in the So you couldn't, you couldn't but miss that that there was that there was a Horn club in the Then you know, and then I don't know, I don't know how long after it was. It must have been when when I got all this money from this. From, no, I'm only joking about that, by the way. But uh, it was uh, the Canada Fund. Ah, uh, the Canada Fund. Uh, no, I was say uh, <clears throat> we the, the economy was very, very bad at that time, you know. Um, and I suppose there was a bit of anxiety, you know, a bit of anxiety, you know. But, you know, and my uh, Lisa, Lisa is a Canadian citizen. I don't know whether you knew that or not, but she, she was born in Canada. What name? But she'd always, she'd always yeah. wanted to go back. She'd remember the childhood, uh, you know, sleeping in igloos and all this kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> but uh, it turned out the, the reality the reality wasn't wasn't as romantic as that. But we, we went we went to Canada and do you remember the night before the night before the the, the club had a had a marquee and those the big racing. Pig racing was on, and, and I was asked. I was asked would I come in. I, I didn't want to go in. I didn't want to go in because uh, I knew what it was going to be like. It's going to be emotional, you know. And, uh, but I went in, and, and uh, we had a great night. And I was presented. I was presented with jerseys, you know, and all Ireland champions, hurling and football, and both the, them, them county jerseys, all signed. Um, uh, Tank he had a lot of connection to the, you know, in the counties that through his work with the GPA and that. And uh, Cahill was presenting me with these jerseys. Now I saw the photos yet. There's a there's a pretty big tear welling up in the eye. Uh, I, 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 I make no secret of it. I cried like a baby, you know. All but right. then again, so did Tank. Tank did, and so did Daggy Malloy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Three horses. <laughs> <laughs> the only one, that, the only one I can remember that didn't cry, and I was expecting him to cry, is this guy here sitting in front of me here now. <laughs> uh, but I want, I want the Canada one with tail between my legs, thinking about that. that, 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 that right, buddy. You know? <laughs> just to cut, just to cut in there in front of Potty in in relation to Canada, Tony. Um, obviously, you had a lot of good times with youth and different trips and stuff. But it's mm-hmm. actually interesting that when you went to Canada, you actually fell into a, a Fela connection over there. A good friend of the club, uh, Martin Barry, and you, you probably you, you right. had a great, great relationship with Martin. Uh, he's from Podic Pierce's in, 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 in Galway. Bubbles, bubbles at no man, you know? Uh-huh. 
Uh, I met I met no, I met Marty. Marty was up a few times. Marty, he lived near he lived down in there. He lived near Calgary. He lived he lived pretty close to Calgary. He was working in Calgary Airport as a an electrician there. And I met him I met him a few times, not as often as I think it was Canada, it's all it's all work there. Martin he he was involved with the the with the Calgary hurlers. Uh, and how I ended up in Edmonton was I actually contacted I just googled all the all the clubs in in, uh, in the, the province of Alberta, and Edmonton was the only club that got back to me. So I've done a wee bit of coaching there. I've done a bit of ladies football coaching there, just for 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 one. I've done that for one year, but most of the time I was living in camp, you know, and you know you didn't have time, you know, you had, it, was, it was just it was just work, and you know you do maybe two three weeks on and a week off, you know, and you're flying and that's the point. So it was basically, it was all about work on that. Uh, and because of that, you were away for three weeks. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't commit to anything like that, you know. So, uh, but, no, Martin, Martin was, Martin, he's now back, he's now back in Ireland now too. Yeah, good fella. Yeah, oh, good fella, yeah. And, uh, see, see just then, Tony, I think it was um, in Canada for around five years, and you were home then, you, just in 2017, just prior to the gala. Just, right. just wondering there, Tony, when you did come back, what were the major changes that you noticed? You know, obviously, infrastructure around the club, you know, with the walkway and the pitch and that, you know, and even with the underage just really flourishing throughout oh, the, I suppose, the Anthem Leagues and that. Just could you talk us a bit on that there? Uh, it, was, it was unbelievable. It was like uh, just night and day, you know. Um, I, I guess I got back just before the gala, you know. Um, and the club there, you know, we like you, you, you know, even even like you had the clubhouse and, and the pitch, you know, that were they were just like second second to none. And and with that, then came the came other you know other benefits too. Like I, I mean, you know, I met Gavin up in in, in Chambles and with the big tit and. I wanted to come back and how did it in an hour at the time and going back coaching and stuff like that. And, and you go to coaching, I go to coaching like indoor coaching or on a Monday night or then outdoor on a Tuesday night and and, uh, and it was nearly too you know, they didn't you know, it was almost like you weren't you know, you still jump in like but you weren't even needed, you know. There was that many coaches. But like there was coaches there, you know, a, a coach could have took four or five lads, it's enough that. You know, and there's maybe you know, there's maybe you know, twenty five to thirty on the tent, and the same and under, under, under eight. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the if the under sixes have started. The end of the under sixes started. They, they would have started. They would have started probably in twenty. The likes of the current or last year's minor team would have started under six, maybe. So that's uh-huh. what my would have been right while going under sixes now. You know. Oh, my Um. Oh well, that must have. Uh, that must have. Uh, I think I, that must have been when I was away then, yeah. after 2012, was it? Well, I don't know. Maybe around the line. Uh, but anyway, uh, oh, it was just, just uh, like, oh, it's like, it's un- unbelievable, like, you know, the amount of, you know, and, and um, you know, the, and, and the, how it attracts other people, like the walkway and stuff like that, too, you know, um, you're meeting. You know, there's people with the swans coming, there's one leaving here from Galway, you know, running club and all that, you know, coming in there. So it's great, it's great exposure <laughs> for the Horn Club. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, just then, Tony, you know, over your overall, I suppose, your, your time involved in what would you say would be your, your most memorable club moment? Um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, the, 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 was that was that was that first year been down was um and and when in the sevens you know I really like that but that that's the thing that 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 won me over at the start you know it wasn't just yeah. win. just it, that was it was just about being accepted you know and, uh, and the, the ticket into the fold you know and to me that that that's like that's a memory like I had always always remember but I think in general the, the my my thing is that the weekends away. I like I like the the weekends away and the sing songs and stuff like that. Buses and uh, 
you know, so then obviously the, you've got the sevens and then you have the, the fella, you know, and like, you know, we're very lucky up here, you know, we get to fella, we get to fellas, you know, every year on, like, well, every year and, and you get to meet, it's just, it's just getting to meet, like, just can't talk to me there, meeting the likes of Martin Barney and, and people like that, you know, meeting people from all over Ireland, like, we've made friends all over the country, you know, like last year we were down in West Mead and, we, me and me and Cahill, we had great crack. We stayed with the nanny with the Paula, and, yeah. and uh, or not Paula, Paula's sister Mary, sister-in-law Mary and David, and a uh, great, great weekend, great weekend crack too, you know. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I, I think as well, as well, as well, like just sorry, sorry if I come in, I don't know if you're coming on there, but the the I suppose uh, the getting the, that off the fence. Last year, because because uh, my local the local football club here, they they were also they were playing up there that day too, and and I felt immensely very very proud to be associated with the Kilgannon Hurlers that day because there's people you know there's people from Galway that, that were sitting beside me and had never had never seen a game of hurling you know I'd, I'd never experienced hurling at that level before and I like myself when I first came around had no idea that Kilgannon good as well, you know. And, and on that note, like that, it's, uh, I know they say that, uh, you know, the, the you know the best all of well, It's a game, I actually thought that the, it, the best team didn't win, you know. I thought the, the, the St. Andrews, no disrespect to St. Andrews, you know, they, they played very well and got themselves back into the game and they were, but the, I thought it was a game they were chasing right up to, up to, up to the end, and then we needed a point. Then Damien, Damien needed a, a great score to level the game for to go into extra time, and then we went ahead and extra time again. But I felt, you know, that it's a game that they were all of chasing. I think had we had we taken our scores, we would have been out the gate at half time, you know, and it just didn't it just didn't go our way, you know. And then and then you know Galway, then they were playing, they won their game, and um, but that. That was that was it, it was it was it was a good and I felt very very proud to be associated with the Dungan Order that day. I have to say. Yeah, yeah. I think you're on a bit uh, memorable mm. moments, Tony. I just going to recall a memorable moment. Away, we obviously had sevens was brilliant, but in 2007 <clears throat> it was the last time we didn't win the field. Actually, uh, we brought uh, probably the current under twenty fives, under twenty sixes would be Damien and Tiernan and Rokiel and them lads. We brought them to Adamstown. You remember that trip? And and I never forget it. Get into the bus at the shop at that time with no obviously pitch. I get into the bus at the uh, down at Halligans as it used to be now the bar. And literally, <laughs> it was me and Tommy Galvin and Bubbles in the same bus along yourself. And literally had a sore side from Halligans to Adamstown to Crow Park on the way home and back to Halligans. I was sore when I got home. The amount of laughing the done. Uh, particularly yourself, and uh, maybe don't tell any stories with that weekend. But uh, it was a, a super, super weekend, and, and you were a massive part of that. You know, and uh, uh, you're only really involved three or four years then. You know, so that was probably a big tale about you. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Not. I know. I, I, have a, I have a very funny story to tell about that weekend, but I'm not going to tell it. Again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, thank you, Tony. No, thank you. Because I know what you're up to. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, uh, so <laughs> uh, Tony, just bring us up then to the current current time. Um, I know you were, you were appointed chairman there at the start of March. Um, and I know, obviously, it's... Just watching on social media and that, you know, that obviously the country is currently in lockdown, you know, and, and the club's been involved with community response and, um, you know, helping out with PPE and food banks and stuff like that. Um, I see yourself keeping busy and a few other club members with a new barbecue area built. Um, how, how are you finding the lockdown yourself, Tony? Or? Oh, well, uh, personally, uh, like the first few weeks was was weird, you know. The first few weeks was it felt like a, a very very the world had just turned on its head. You know, it was all very strange, you know. 
But I think with GA in general and, and our club, you know, we're very quick to react. Like we, you know, we don't not, you know, we shut down the, the club. The club, pardon me, to shut down the club house and, and the facilities, like what we're told to. And, and, um, and as well, like, you know, we realise, you know, that, that we are going to play an important part. If this thing was going to pan out as, as bad as, as what, as what uh, official them were, were predicting, like we were going to be, you know, they were going to need a lot of volunteers. So I, I put a, I put a WhatsApp into, into the committee group, and we, into whatever groups we had, and within like a very, very short period of time, we had about 60 volunteers, and that's just through the own club. And then, and then I suppose I, I, I assume every club was doing the same, you know, the Ronald Club and the Clarks, they were doing the same, you know, and then Barry, Barry Monteith then he contacted us all and asked us would we come on to the one umbrella, you know. So we, we done that, you know, and thankfully, thankfully, it has turned out that we haven't been anywhere near as busy as what we thought we would be, you know. And I'm, I, I, because I'm living out here in Galway, like I wouldn't want to get a chance to volunteer, to volunteer my services, so I offered the Galway Pierces to, that I jump in on with them out here, you know, as an active volunteer, but I was still involved with the Dungannon Community Response, as just like Kennedy is with them, you know. Yeah. Part of my role as, as chairman, but uh, again, by going back to the chairman, one of the first things I had to do as chairman was, was, was shut her down, you know. And, <laughs> so not, smart, Tony. Uh, uh, I'll not forget this in a very but yeah. but I realize you know that there's a few people that has contacted me, you know, friends of mine and stuff like that, you know, and, uh, and, and I know myself, I know myself uh, from past experiences that. But times like these, you know, can be very, very difficult, and very, very stressful, you know. And, uh, so I realised I need to do something to, you know, to keep my, I need to keep myself busy. I can't just, I can't wake up to nothing every morning. So, um, and this is again the person that put it. So uh, I, I have a bore on, so I'm teaching myself how to play the bore on. Getting pretty good at it too, not too bad. All um, Ireland score champions next year, Tony. And. Uh, and as well, there's a bit of work. There's a bit of work in around the hurling field there that needed doing. So I just put that into the group too. Any lads that were in a loose end that maybe you know want to get out of the house or whatever, you know, they, they come. Like only only want a couple because at this time the social distancing had been brought in and that, you know. So you only have a couple couple down, and and there's quite a, quite a few, you know, quite a few of the lads then you know respond to that like Gareth and Styles, you know, Tank and. Like that, you know. I hope I haven't left anybody out. Um, I'm just trying to think. If I have, I'm very, very sorry. But, uh, <laughs> that's why I probably shouldn't have named anybody. Forget all that name that I just mentioned there. <laughs> but so, you know, we'll get a bit of work done. We'll get the you know, work done for the groups and stuff like that. And then we're doing a PA system, great, great help there, you know, like we Marty, Padraig, uh, Shimmy. Um, Eamon, um, uh, all them boys, all, all in there, helping there the, the other week. So, should like again, just get it. We're all you know, there's nobody warrant on top of each other. We all have different jobs, and different parts to do, you know. Yeah, and we get the yeah. people come through, and that's <laughs> all that they know for, for to go up the, the UPA system, you know. So, your dad, your dad would be very pleased with that. Budget. I know, I know. I was just thinking that there. You can talk and you can talk. Do you have a field day? You can talk and all he wants now. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. We have a nice wee party. We have a wee nice wee party there now. So when this all, when the whole, when the when the lockdown's lifted up. we can we can go go out even even if there is social distancing. I think we can. As a kind of a welcome back to the club, you know, we've got some kind of a barbecue, and, you know, and, and uh, you know, and get everybody back and get tables out and out along the car park number. Yeah. I'm looking forward to welcoming everybody back again. You know? yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, just going to finish off here then, Tony, just, um, I suppose just for a bit of crack, just going to be a quick, just a quick fire around here. So, just a few questions here. I'm just going to throw them at you here and so you can just 
shout out the answer, sure. Um, I'll start off then, just really a would you rather. So, Facebook or Twitter, Tony? Uh, no, Facebook. Facebook. Um, right. And who? Sorry, go on ahead. I was just going to say, I, I must find out the big fella, he's very successful with Twitter. He puts up a, he puts up a tweet and this, it gives pile of likes. And uh, I put up a tweet and I can't even read it myself. You know. <laughs> Go ahead, you coaching on. Uh, and uh, who, who's a better cook, Tony, yourself or Lisa? That'd <laughs> <laughs> not have been me. That'd have been me. <laughs> no, but I don't want to say nothing if, if her dad finds out that it's me. He did her. Real tradition, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, who who's your favourite current county hurler? Uh, it has to be. Well, it kind of. I'll well, say Ken Ken Lynch. Good shout, good choice. Yeah. Nice. Good choice. Yes, the skill of the game is just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And uh, who 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 would be your favourite ever county hurler? Uh, I, I like I like the, uh, a fiery kind of a character. So John John the Lamb. Uh, good chase. Oh, good chase. Two two redheads. Uh, well, they're, they're like the like myself. Like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, they they would probably say you, Tony. <laughs> well, I, I have a red head, but not red hair. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I did used to. I used to have red hair. <laughs> Well, and uh, who, who's your favourite club hurler then, Tony? Uh, be careful, because uh, you need to answer correctly. I, 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 I do need to be careful. There's a couple of people like it. I really like. As, as, there's a lot of people I really like on that on that team. You know, the great, a great bunch of fellas. You know, but I like I like Terry 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 McIntosh. You know, and I, I, I respect the, the older guy like John Devon, like John. Again, I embarrassed him at the at the at the, at the dinner dance by by singling him out and saying he was my hero, you know, for like them saves that he made in in that in that off the final yeah. or on the fact that we were still in it to the last penalty, you know. So the, the lads like that, you know. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in terms of other sports, Tony, do you have a favorite other sport that you would watch or follow or? Funny enough, funny enough. <laughs> Think I know where I'm going with this one. A really, really good time for, and always, always had for, for basketball. And especially Michael Jordan, for some strange reason. You know? <laughs> now, I know, I know that some guy wrote an essay at university about this, and I think we're all jumping on, the band, on this bandwagon. He wrote this essay maybe three, four years ago, you know, when nobody was, was actually, even talking. Uh, Dar- Dar- yeah, Dar- 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 uh, yeah, you'd heard her too. Uh huh. No, I shouldn't. I'm only, I'm only thinking the Mickey there, but uh, I've just seen, seen that tweet. I've seen that tweet up earlier. But uh, no, uh, no, I can do. I do like basketball, you know. Um, but not. Um, I would say my probably the second. My, my main sport would be would be Gaelic football on on, on our not I wouldn't really I'd watch rugby if it's on the TV. <laughs> I, not, I wouldn't go out of my way to, to watch it, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I watched I watched uh, that that uh, documentary on Michael Jordan because it was a pretty good documentary. And see anybody into sports psychology? If you're into sports psychology on the winning mentality, it would do. It, you could do worse things than watch it. Yeah, that was brilliant for that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just up next, then, Tony, who would you say is your favourite non hurling sports star? Um, I suppose I'm, I'm probably supposed to say Peter Cannibal. <laughs> but actually, whilst, whilst I, I, I did like him and he was, he was top class, but some people just, I, I, I always liked, I liked Tom up to Africa. Just like you know, he, he's very good determination, well to win, and and I, I loved watching him on the ball. I thought he was very graceful on the ball. 
on its own run. Uh, a bit like your man, Barry Doyle, that used to get to play for Dublin back in the, in the 70s. Uh, you know, just the way I'd always loved that, you know, I, 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 I was that not fancy now, he made, he made none of them doing much, but just, he loved the park, you know. Yeah, yeah. but he's not yeah. enough for that tonight, sorry. <clears throat> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, uh, he's another redhead, is he? Maybe, no. Um, Maybe. Well, borderline. A bit of Sandy, Sandy, I. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't, uh, it's not this. This must be, there must be just some, some, someone in my subconscious about the, the gingers, you know. <laughs> so. Next up then, Tony, what's your favourite film? Uh, this is an easy one. There's one through over the cookies nest. You'd be well suited. Uh, <laughs> I, there's maybe something subliminal going on there too. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, Good show. <laughs> I, 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 I hold my hand up to my, my mat in the fisher seats, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just on that, I actually met, I should have won the competition a few years ago because I met. I met Jack Nicholson and Danny DeVito at Edmonton Airport one time. I was coming back off the ship. Here I am talking about Canada again. Well, I had the photo in, Tony. And I actually put it on, on, I put it on Twitter and, uh, and I was told because this, this photo was taken a year or two prior to that that, that I was I was really out of the competition. And I was wearing I was wearing my club, I was wearing my club jacket on the club uh, hoodie. And the club hoodie, my badge and all was visible in this photo with and he's he ruined me out of the competition because, <laughs> I had, because I had deserted you, you know, but I'm back. <laughs> with the ball wall money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what uh, what's your what sort of music in the straw? What's your favorite type of music or your bond? what sort of bonds do you like or uh, hip hop? House of Pain. Uh, no, I did. I do like that. I like all sorts of music. I like all. The only real type of music that I'm not that keen on, but um, it's okay. I think uh, country. Not, not a big lover of country. It's all right. It's all right. Some of it. Some of it's good, and, and some of it's not. You know. You say oh, hip hop. Yeah. A lot of our a lot of our members would uh, would have heard the straw rap. We won't do it now, but. A lot of a lot of people know what the straw rap is, anyway. Uh -huh. Famous bus song. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll never get her. We'll get her going again before the summer's out. Please God. Uh, no, I think I think my probably favorite band, and I've been saying in concert, is, it would be I like the folks. Folks are good, you know, and and, and the actually they kind of attracted all sorts of people. It wasn't just an Irish following that they called me. All the hippies and rockers and all sorts of kind of follow them, you know. Slate punky, the slate punky, what is? It? The wear I slate wear yeah. I. <clears throat> Pretty good. Kind of like that, and I like that, you know. The, it done, it done a lot. It, it didn't do. It done, you know. It, it, it was an era that, you know, the things going on, you know, in in this part of the world at that time. Being Irish, you know, uh, wasn't that necessarily that popular. Your across the water, you know. So we kind of uh, done things, done very done positive things for our culture. That done, river dance, things like that. They done done positive things for our culture, you know, right throughout the world, you know. So yeah. we're we're, yeah. we're now loved, we're loved even more than we than we always were. <laughs> so. What the. Holiday destinations, though, what are your favorite holiday destination? Um, I don't know. I like, I like Germany. Germany was nice. It was, you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really a sun, a sun seeing sound kind of person. So I like Germany, but I have to say I like, I like America too. You know, I've been to Vegas quite a few times and I've been to New York a few times and Philadelphia. You know, I was in Philadelphia for maybe six months there, but three years ago, you know, I was over there with yeah. a nephew. I really enjoyed the time there. It's a real, it's a, it's culturally very rich. You know, you could be, you could be driving, you could be driving through Philadelphia in a gale, right past you in a, in a bicycle and a pushbike, 
with a, a ghetto blaster and tied to the handlebar to her, you know. <laughs> just things like that. I hope I don't have any of RX hurlers. No, 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 no. <laughs> Might have been. Might have been. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, well, you actually, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a few of them, I'm not big, big, uh, big Connor, big Nups, he's out, he's out there. Not a bit of time with him, he was, she was playing with Barry's and that, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, I like that, I like that part of the world. And, you know, it's just, it's right there. Stuff. Um, next question, what's your favourite drink? Um... <clears throat> This is a bit tea, tea, tea or coffee. I like uh, the tea myself. Uh, probably Probably coffee. Plug in for Sean and Rush. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Coffee mom is up now. What is that? What is that, Kevin? Put that up again. Put that up, Kevin. It might look like I'm listening to you, but in my head I'm hurting. That's probably true. That's been you the last forty minutes, Tony. <laughs> It's probably 15 minutes now. <laughs> we need to be soon making longer. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Funny, you'll be up to one o'clock in the morning. Uh. Oh, hello, Tony. Jesus. Um, <laughs> next one then, Tony. Who is your favourite superhero in a way? <laughs> it's Wonder Woman. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I think you know, the reason, way, I think it's self explanatory, you know. <laughs> Or, or maybe the Incredible Hulk, because he's like me, he's, he's green and he's got big muscles. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, just, just to finish off then, Tony, I just have one, one more uh, question there. Um, it's actually a, one of the members there wanted me to ask you, Adam the Cutfire in there, Damien Casey. He, and Damien wants to know, Who's your favourite Macarlane? <laughs> Thanks, Damien. It's Mickey. Don't take any notice of Cahal either. This made this made Mick there. I'm the editor. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's no, I say sit down the middle here. No, sit down the middle equal, you know. The 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 both got the the both got their strength, you know. The things about the two of them that are like, well, I don't really, you know, there's John, I'm leaving John Joe and, and Peter out of this. And <laughs> <So, laughs> Caroline? And Caroline, you know. Well, obviously, the two that I know best is Kevin and, and Mickey. So, uh, no, I love I love them both. I love them both equally. That's a very safe answer, Tony. Don't like it. Very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I am chairman on there. I'm chairman on there. I have to be. I have to be like the last chairman, and I have to be this diplomatic. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's 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 great, lads. I think we'll we'll wrap it up with that then. That was uh, very entertaining there, to say the least, and uh, very informative as well. Um, it's nice, I suppose, just in the current times to get sitting down and have a, having a bit of a chat and just, you know, things have slowed down now, we're not running about and, you know, just to catch up, I suppose. Um, no, I'd, just like to, I'd just like to thank you, Tony, for coming on again and Cahal as well for coming on and joining, joining me this evening and I suppose Cahal as well for your editing and that that they'll have to do. Um, well, thank you, Tony. It's a good idea. Great idea, bye. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And actually on that, like that's that's the thing, but the other thing I like about this club is the labs, the the, the way like the, a lot of people a lot of very you know, innovative innovative people in the in the club, you know. That will you know, that that are some great suggestions and they're not afraid to come forward and and uh, that's that's brilliant. That's why that's that's why we're doing it why we're doing it, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's great, lads. Anyway, so thanks for that. Anyway, and hopefully, say, hopefully in the not too near future, you know, I'll, 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 I'll be chatting to you both in person, you know, up around the clubhouse, around the pits and that, you know. So I suppose that's all we can hope for at the minute, you know. But um, hopefully good that time will come. So cheers, lads. Thank you. Cheers. Good Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.